know if this is... Whoop! I almost got the check. Good morning. Today I thought I would take you on the farm and show you around a little bit. This has been a bit. And talk to you about one of my favorite breeds, the Ancona, the cow duck. So, let's go release the birds and let's have some fun. <laughs> The Ancona is a great backyard duck. They have quick growth for meat. They lay 210 to 280 blue, cream, or white eggs a year. Plus, they like to stay close to home and they do forage really well. I, I mean, I have several Anconas. They really, the only far as they go is they go a little bit into the woods to hide and lay an egg where I, so I can never find it. And then they come back out. They're really good. <laughs> The Anconas have a great temperament. They are very calm. I will not say docile because uh, they will protect. They are a mama duck and they're sitting on eggs. They will protect and they'll let you know. And the drake will protect its female. Lots of personality. Each one is different. And they're just lovely to have in the backyard because you don't have to worry about them being aggressive towards anyone unless it's mating season. That I can't help you with because all drakes, it's like, they just go crazy. The Antonas are on the endangered list. They're set to watch. Put a link in the description box below if you're curious about all the other North American breeds that are endangered. Livestock Conservatory keeps an excellent record of that. When I first found out about Anconas, I was researching uh, duck breeds online and I found these cow-like ducks. My husband and I love cows. He used to work on a farm. It was great to have a duck because we do not have enough land to have a bunch of Holstein or jerseys running around. So it was great to find a duck that was black and white and had spots like the cow. And when I first went to go look to see where I could buy some so we can have our own. No hatcheries had them and if they did they were out of stock because the breed actually had gone down so much that it was very hard to find and they were having good hatch rate. So my mission was to find some Ancona so that we could have our own cow dog. So I waited to the following spring and I actually, I ordered some eggs off of eBay. So the first year I hatched out, I ended up just my luck, all drakes. The only ones that survived were three. And that's Cowboy, Pewter, and Nestle only three drakes I had so then I had to wait till the following year because I did try to hatch out again and I had no luck again I got a drake and I gave that one away uh, and so I waited I waited another year and ordered it from somebody else and I did have four that hat and three were girls and one was male and sadly the male ate a mushroom because last year we, it was very rainy here all summer and it just killed everything and we kept getting mushrooms everywhere and no matter what we did to try to kill the mushrooms sadly I lost him but I still had the three girls I was very happy so this year I could actually mate and have some Ancona cautionary tale about eBay sometimes you get new layers and I in their eggs are really really small so what happens if the egg is small then the duck will be small. So if you can't tell by my theme, what is my theme? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you are enjoying this video. If you are, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bell because it will help me with my, obviously, my cow fetish. So with also hatching out the Anconas, I ordered some magpie hatching eggs and I ordered 10 fawn and white Indian runners hoping to get some females for my shirt and short. Well, I hit the female mother load. So I got the three female Anconas, three magpies. I was so excited about that. And six fawn and white Indian runners. I had luck for once. It was awesome. I don't even know if this is, whoop, I almost got the chicken. Ah, uh, that would have been points. Pewter is my silver Ancona and he has been with three Ancona females and one crusted. I went and hatched out their eggs, which most of these babies, probably about 17 to 18, are pewters. I have one I know is cowboys with his jumbo pecan. And then I have one, she's right there, brownie mix, because I had a couple uh, Indian runners just sitting on some random eggs. So I um, had to kick them off because they just, there was fights. The drakes, 
don't really like babies. I wanted to make sure the babies were going to be safe, so I hatched them out. And then I bought six magpies that I bought. And so they're all together, which is great. So they're all different ages, but they all are lived together. So my goal was to help repopulate the Ancona to get them off of the endangered species uh, domestic. But I also want to be able to grow meat for ourselves and eggs. These are the babies that I have been working <laughs> so hard for. Another cool thing about the Anconas is the chocolate, which Nestle is right there. They carry the recessive chocolate genes. So for, they're the only ones. Males are the only ones that will carry on the chocolate. So if you have a chocolate drake and they mate with a black and white Ancona, all the females will be chocolate and all the males will be black and white. So playing with the chocolate recessive gene is going to be so much fun. I will put a link in the description box below to the info about how to make your own designer Ancona duck. That is all for this week. Thank you. I will see you in the next one.